Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of the car stereo at home DIY video. In case you are new to the channel and if you haven't seen the previous videos of this project, here's a quick recap. So in the previous video, I bought new JBL components, two new Sony amplifiers, and we worked on the Sony oval coaxial speaker boxes. And you should really check out this video, it's quite interesting and if you're interested to build your own car stereo at home and do a DIY thing, make sure to check out these videos. Alright guys, so I hope everyone is up to speed and that brings us to this video. Now since my last video, I have done some work here. So I have actually put the wire in and I have put some sealant. Now this does look a little bad but trust me, once it's completely dry, I'll just flick off those extra strands of the sealant. But yeah, the speaker box is nice and sealed so there won't be any air leakage. So there are two holes, one is over here and one is over there. Now this sealant is still giving off a lot of fumes so I'll let this dry for another day. But yeah, these JBL uh, speakers also come with a crossover. So this is the crossover and I think I'll put this on over here. Um, still not sure if I want the tweeter to blast uh, at my face so I might have the tweeter set up like this or I might have tweeter set up over there up on the shelf. So we'll see about that but today's project is to fill these speaker boxes up with polyfill. There's my polyfill and to line up these boxes with polyfill I'll be using this synthetic resin adhesive. Now the reason why I'm using an adhesive is because I want the polyfill to stick to the uh, inside of the box rather than just being rather than just floating inside and I really don't want a polyfill to get inside the speaker driver otherwise it'll destroy it. Alright, so what you want to do is coat the inside of the box with the adhesive and then stuff it with your polyfill and then wait for two to three days for this thing to dry because it takes a little bit of time to dry out. So, so let's go ahead and fill it, fill this box up with the polyfill. All right, that's pretty much it. And it's quite a thin layer and you can see, you can actually see the wood from polyfill. So it's a very thin layer. It looks thick on the camera, but trust me, it's not, not really that thick. And yeah, this enclosure is quite shallow. So, um, you know what, once I finish up and everything dries out, I'm gonna test and see how it sounds like. I think it's it'll sound okay. And I'm not gonna stuff all the way up, that's gonna damage the speaker. Well, I think that's it. Now, I've seen some pictures on the internet, the boxes are filled to the top with polyfill. That's crazy, you just, you need to have some space in there. So I think this much is okay. Not gonna fill anymore. And the wood is also visible. Okay, so I'll let this dry out, uh, keep these outside for a day or two, and then we'll continue with the speaker installation. Alright guys, looks like the resin and the sealant both have dried out. They're not releasing any more fumes. So now it's time to uh, wire up the speakers. Now I'm just gonna directly solder on the wire on the speaker terminals. And you guys might want to ask, why do I have a separate wire uh, in the speaker box, why don't I directly wire up the speakers with the uh, wire that's coming off the amplifier? That's because these speakers come with a crossover box. So we'll have the crossover box sitting right here and the wire from the amplifier goes in this in, in terminals, these two. So this wire which is going inside the box, this will go into the woofer terminal and the wire coming from the tweeter will go over here. So it's nice that we have a crossover right here and this is the uh, this is for the tweeter boost. Uh, we'll test it out how it sounds like. If I am not satisfied, I can move this crossover to somewhere else. Okay, so I soldered on the wire onto the speaker terminal and I am not sure if I want to install the speaker grill because without the speaker grill, it kind of looks awesome. I mean, imagine the speaker sitting over there uh, without the speaker grill, it will look awesome. But yeah, if I'm not satisfied, I can just install install the speaker grill later on. But yeah, without the grill, it looks awesome. So let me go ahead and screw this thing in. And they also supplied some JBL logo, so I'll be putting that over here. I removed the dry one logo. And here are our screws. And the manual says the silver screws are the one which should be go which should go over here. All right, so I'm gonna screw this thing in. 
got my electric screwdriver and if you want one of these links are down in the video description you can check them out oh and also there is also this thing a ceiling tape so i'll put this around the speaker and then we'll screw this thing in so these are the screws that we will use to mount the speakers and you might be able to tell these are not your standard phillips screws but yeah the jbl is nice enough to provide us with this thing and it will fit on my electric screwdriver well sort of let's see if i can get these screws in oh yeah these fit right in Yeah, that's it okay now the screws are nice and tight speaker does not move there's no play and I also use that uh, sealing tape so this box should be completely airtight and sealed yeah this is one of the sealed boxes so this is a non ported box so the next thing to do is to install the crossover I'm thinking I'll keep the crossover here or I might keep it like this to keep the cables at the back okay so I think I'll mount the tweeter right over here uh, with this thing but I'm kind of stupid because I could have mounted that tweeter from uh, wiring it up from inside I can I could have had the wires going in and I could have taken out the an another wire from over here but yeah once again this is sort of a learning experience for me and I don't want to take the speaker out once again because these screws will eventually go bad if you take these out again and again so I don't want to do that I don't want to lose the seal so what I'm going to do is mount it slightly off center like this so that i can take out the wires from here and then we'll wire up the crossover uh, with the tweeter so it it should go like this and the wire should come out from over here and go to the crossover so let me wire this up and <laughs> i really really feel stupid doing this because i could have done it from the inside and have this thing over here without any wires so this is my left speaker and this is how it screws in the wires come out from over here and the other side goes into the crossover. So let me just wire this in and then I'll give you guys a demo. And it looks somewhat like this. Not bad, eh? Alright guys, so this is pretty much my final setup for the front speakers. And I think they look awesome on my desk. And they actually look like legitimate JPL speakers that you can buy off Amazon or something. But yeah, and that might be because of that JBL logo I put right over there. But yeah, that's the crossover. So take a look at the right channel, the crossover here, tweeter, and the mid-range or the woofer. But yeah, let's go ahead and do an audio test on these. These speakers sound awesome, by the way. So for our little audio test, uh, I will be turning off the subwoofer. So let's go to the subwoofer setting. So yeah, subwoofer is already turned off so that we can uh, hear exactly how these speakers sound like. So let's go back, fader, and yeah, only the front speakers are playing the tune, so rear speakers are turned off. So let's keep the extra bass setting turned on so that these speakers pump out a little bit of bass. Alright, so let's go to Windows Media Player and this is a tune I downloaded from the YouTube audio library. So let's go ahead and play this. Guys, listen to this bass drop on this song called Departure and you might hear some distortions because this mic is not able to capture the entire frequencies. And But yeah, in real life it sounds perfect. So here we go. Oh yeah, I absolutely love these speakers. 
these sound awesome these might not be too heavy on bass that's because the enclosure is way too small if you want some bass but yeah it's a sealed enclosure and i do love how clean this setup sounds the bass that comes out of these is quite solid i mean it does not vibrate the entire desk or anything and for the bass we have the subwoofer but yeah these speakers sound awesome and i think this is this front speaker setup is a winner oh yeah all right guys so finally we are moving on to the rear speakers and these were the speakers that i originally planned to use but i kind of sold these ones to my friend and i will also be giving him this brand new cable because this cable i have already used inside that box over there so i will be giving him this new cable and i will be giving him this speaker so i kind of got a really good deal on it so i thought hey why not go for a more beefier version of the coaxial speakers so i got myself one of these these are the sony xs xp6941 and these ones have this extra bass branding so i guess this speaker will be more beefier on bass and the old speaker is rated at 60 watts rms these ones are rated at 100 watts rms so yeah that's quite a bit of power uh, for these speakers so this is the back and you can see these are rated at 100 watts rms that is awesome and these are four-way speakers that means you have the woofer you have the mid-range driver over here tweeter and a super tweeter which is right here and these are three-way speakers that means you have a woofer you have a mid-range speaker and then you have a tweeter so there's no extra tweeter here so you have three speakers inside one speaker set here now this is more of a personal choice but i kind of like this old style of the front shroud now this one does have this carbon fiber texture which looks awesome but i kind of don't like this speaker grill and do like that explored logo there and let's see how this one looks like on the uh, new speakers so this take this out and put it over here the size of the speaker is, is exactly the same so this speaker will fit in that box without any problem but yeah i think this looks awesome so i'll see if i can negotiate with my friend and um, make him take these and i'll keep this one uh, the, the, it does not block any speakers or anything so the tweeter is here mid-range and our second tweeter is here and let's see if this one fits oh yeah this thing fits perfectly so i i'll see if i can negotiate anything but yeah i do like that x thingy all right so i'm gonna install these in that box and we'll do a little sound test and see how it goes all right guys so the old speakers are gone i sold them and guess what i got to keep the old speaker shroud and that is awesome so let's go ahead and install the speakers in the box and we'll do a sound test. So you guys know I kind of put a lot of sealant in this thing so it kind of took almost a week for that thing to dry out and finally it's dried out it's not really releasing any more fumes so now it's time to install the speaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw the shroud on. Let's go. Oh yeah, that looks good. Now before I install these, I will remove this music box and that dry one logo because I already have those metallic Sony logos on order. So we'll be fixing that whenever they arrive. Yeah, this speaker box looks awesome. So let me go ahead, install these and I'll give you guys a sound demo. So I ran into a little problem with this terminal box here. Looks like this terminal box was leaking air. So whenever I, I was playing some music, uh, air would come out of here and the sound would kind of distort so I put some sealant around here and yeah the sealant has completely dried out there is sealant on the inside also but I somehow was not able to cover the entire thing and it was still leaking the other other box is fine so I didn't put anything over here but this one I sealed it up permanently and this like I said I'm doing this sort of thing for the first time and vlogging it on YouTube and i will definitely not make this kind of a mistake again anywho so everything is now set the front shroud is on the speaker is on there so let's install and play some tunes all right guys got the speakers installed in my shelf and i do admit they kind of look nice so here's a quick close-up of the speaker and that's my hand just to give you guys an idea of the size of this box 
and it kind of comes out a little bit from my shelf but that's okay uh, doesn't look bad or anything you know what guys I just did an audio test off camera and I absolutely love the sound of these speakers and yes they do live up to the extra bass name so let me show you my settings in the head unit and then we'll do an audio test on camera so let's go to sound and first off subwoofer subwoofer level subwoofer level is set to a unit that means subwoofer is turned off so let's go back here and I had to made some uh, make some adjustments in the equalizer so let's go to equalizer and you see this uh, kilohertz option here uh, 16 kilohertz I had to set this to minus 6 because the tweeters uh, on these Sony speakers are way too loud compared to these ones so this I had to make this little change so 8 kilohertz minus 6 4 kilohertz minus 6 and then 2 kilohertz minus 3 and all of the other settings are set to 0 and let's go back here uh, fader only the rear speakers will be playing songs so it's set to uh, 15 for the rear speakers and that's pretty much it uh, extra bass is turned on so yeah let's go ahead and do an audio test and yeah that's the only thing I did not like about these speakers that the uh, uh, tweeters on these are way too loud alright so let's do an audio test this song is from no copyright sounds all the links are down in the video description down so we'll be using Twitter boost on these speakers so to make them sound equal to those speakers so you know what guys let's do an audio test with all the speakers turned on so both the front speakers both the rear speakers and the subwoofer is turned on so just to show you guys sound subwoofer subwoofer level plus six now you might hear a little bit of distortion because of the camera's mic but I've turned on the auto volume level on the camera so let's hope fingers crossed I don't want the sound to distort on the camera because when you turn the volume all the way up this camera's mic is not able to handle the sound but anywho let's go ahead and play some tunes actually let's play the same, same song all over again all that we
You know what? The power supply is stone cold, so this one is not even warm. Subwoofer amp is stone cold. Uh, the 4 channel amp is slightly warm, but that's completely normal. So I absolutely love how the system sounds. The sound is clear, the bass is strong. Now there is no unnecessary bass in this system. I've seen many people, they like that kind of bass which reverberates all, all around their room. But I kind of like the bass when it's tight and just, that, that's just my preference. So that's how I've set up the system. Now what I'm going to do is cut the bass to these front speakers and the rear speakers. I want only the subwoofer to play the lower tunes. So I think low say 50 hertz. I'll cut the uh, bass to the speaker so the setting is right on the sample. So, so ideally what you want to do is cut the bass to these speakers. So the front speaker and the rear speakers you want to cut the bass to them. You want these speakers to only play the mid-range tunes and all the bass is sh bass should be handled by the subwoofer. So that is exactly what I'm going to do in my next video. We'll cut the bass to these speakers so that we can play these speakers even louder. Because if you turn the volume all the way up, uh, these speakers will start distorting. And you won't want that to happen because uh, this amp can push a lot of bass, uh, a lot of power to these speakers. So just so you know. Uh, but anywho guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy watching this video and what a project this has been. It started out as a simple audio system but yeah I kind of upgraded this all the way, added two amplifiers, uh, added these superb JPL speakers then those rear extra bass Sony speakers. Yeah I absolutely love the system, love how it sounds and thank you for watching. All the links are down in the video description if you want any parts. Alright guys, so thank you for watching, do stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.